Preservation work down there as well. Training to be a fireman for it because um, yeah. when you're six, when you're 16, you're not actually allowed to drive it. But when you're 15, you're allowed to start training. So I've already started training. Oh, that's good. So that's brilliant for me. Good opportunity. Yeah, well, I can go to the regulator and address it. Bob Ray always is up. Collectors for the uh, pleasure center up here is one of the next weekends, so I'll tell them the next weekend. Because of years, because of years, a few years ago, I know they used to use the docks for it. Well, one time, I don't know which train it was now. Oh, the dog calling chemicals. Yeah, we're going to extend another half a mile oh, yeah. to the, uh, the dock office. office. Yeah. It's quite big, isn't it? Oh, yes. Well, that's where they hold the time fence next Sunday. Yeah, stop side. We're on the side. That the side. We go inside there, do we? Or sorry, what, what goes down there? No, uh, yeah, they're going to go right down to the docks office, which is uh, ah. another half a mile on. We've got uh, a toy fair on the fifth of August on our station in Barry. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, dire affairs as well. <laughs> Do the classic stuff. Trucks and another DMU. This tour's really paying off. It is, isn't it? Nothing. 
actually get to go inside of all this is actually tremendous. It really is. Fake line R. Cotton 66. <laughs> There you go, Gotten, you got yourself a freight lady. No numbers anywhere, is it? No, there's no numbers. Um, yeah. <laughs> is this is the only conventional DMU as well over there. Big steam. Only <laughs> 10 wheel drive. A little paneer. With the DMU. Here's one for one Adam Steeman too. And Barry Island. Well, along with. N nine two two four five um little temper with a little bumper which is nine one 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 oh make that either here or the national Rail museum that's going to become like a representative of a barry rep okay, when yeah. you see photographs of the the dorset railway it's, it's, it's always that one yes yeah, yeah. Mm. the one beyond so, that is the 66 tank that's 6686 Shed. And we're going to restore that. I found a lot of the parts for that. That's good. And beyond that is 44901, which is a Black 5 built in the war, and which actually one time did haul the Royal Train, I think in 1957. And the components from that locomotive and the Turkish 8F over there, there's a lot of similarities and standardisation, so there's similarities of the part. Two of them they're going to try and make a Black 5 from. Mm. Okay. Going to go up and photograph it? Mm. <laughs> no, no, I'm not impressed. I prefer an A Yeah, okay. <laughs> These are our Gatwick coaches. Yeah. Is it all right to go photograph them? Yeah, there's a lot of stripping out of them. It's quite a bit. So the Bits of doom. Oh. What state is it in? This is pretty good condition. They've got they all the components for this and a lot of spare. Right. Right. This is a Turkish one, is it? Yeah. This is a Turkish one. This was brought back that year. Ago. Yeah, that was the one that was at Port Redox, wasn't it? Yeah. Actually, right up close, it seems massive. <laughs> no, the one in Shield is better condition than this one. Yeah. Yeah, well, this one, I thought the other one's better, but this one's ideal for using for parts, you see. Yeah. yeah. Got quite a snow plow. Is this another part of a DMU on it? This is another part of the DMU, but we have used this coach as a passenger hauling coach. Oh yeah. Well, I will try. How many DMU, uh, DMUs you got? Three or two? No, only one. Really? We do sometimes put this little coach in the middle of the DMU. Oh yeah. Just a little coach thing. Another bumper. Back to the 73. Trust me to get the first one to get the cab. But hey. Okay. Yeah, the Turkish Black Five in there is it um, is in there as well. So, all right, all right. See so in a minute. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.
well because they're level crossing, because we're cool.